Hello, my friends. I am Dr. Sarah Wooten. I am a small animal veterinarian, a graduate of UC Davis. And in this video for All About Cats, I will be covering the top 10 most Googled cat questions. Number one, can cats get COVID? Well, according to the US CDC, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, cats can get COVID, so can dogs as well. And they have been infected with the virus. It usually happens after the animals are in close contact with people infected with COVID-19. But here's the good news. The risk of animals spreading COVID-19 to people is considered low. So if you have COVID-19, take the same precautions around your dog and cat that you take around humans. Number two, how long do cats live? On average, healthy cats that have been properly cared for by a human live on average for 14 years. That is out in the literature, that's the average. However, I have seen cats live for 19 to 25 years. So they have it in their genetics to be able to live longer, but on average we see them live about 14 years. Number three, why do cats need? I love this question. Cats, they start the needing behavior when they're a kitten. And the reason why they do it when they're a kitten is they use it when they're nursing to stimulate the milk gland to let down the milk but then they continue to do it while they're adults as well. So cats will need stuffed animals, blankets, or soft, uh, soft objects they, they find around in their environment. And the reason why they do this is we feel that it releases feel-good hormones in their brain because they still associate the motion of needing with the comfort of nursing from their mother. Number four, why do cats purr? Cats purr for three different reasons. Number one, the one that we're most familiar with is that they're happy. So if a cat is purring and they have other signs that they are happy and relaxed body language, and maybe they're having little mews or they're kneading or they're head bunting on you, it's because that they're happy. But cats can also purr when they are stressed or very sick or in pain. So if your cat is purring and has the other signs of a happy cat, it's purring because he's happy. If he's purring and you know that he has reasons to be sick, stressed, or in pain, then he's trying to make himself feel better. Number five, how old is my cat? Great question. So the size of a cat and the teeth can be useful. We know that kittens' baby teeth start to come in when they're about two weeks old. And they're done with their baby teeth by the time they're about eight weeks old. At around four months of age, baby teeth start to fall out and adult teeth start to come in. Once all the teeth come in, it does get harder. You can use the wear and tear of the teeth as well as the amount of tartar buildup on the outside of the teeth as a clue to how old a cat may be. That is a rule of thumb that works sometimes. Another clue that you can use to see if the cat's older is something called lenticular sclerosis. So the lens inside the eye thickens as a animal, any animal, ages. And the thicker it gets, the cloudier it appears. And so if the cat's not having any vision problems but has cloudiness inside their eye, that is lenticular sclerosis. And it's pretty safe to say that cat is eight years old or older. Number six question, how heavy should my cat be? You have a couple of options. Um, ask your veterinarian. They'll always tell you what the best weight for your cat is. And they do this by using something called a body condition score. Just Google body condition score cat, and it'll show you a chart that either ranges one to nine or one to five, and your vet uses that chart to score your cat. And they do this by a number of visual factors and palpating or feeling the cat. An easy way for you to test your cat's weight at home is what I call the hand test. Hand test. If you feel your cat's ribs, which are located right behind their front legs on the sides of their body, just gently do this. 
If it feels like the back of your hand, cat is good. If it feels like the front of your hand, too heavy. If it feels or looks like the knuckles, too skinny. That is the easiest way to tell at home. Next question, how long are cats pregnant? Well, they are pregnant for on average two months, nine weeks. So that's the answer to that question, pretty easy to answer. Question number eight, how often do you take your cat to the vet? That is a great question. So your cat is likely going to see the vet the most times during the first year of life. That's because you're going in every two to four weeks when they're a kitten for wellness exams, vaccines, all of that jazz. And then they come back and they'll get spayed or neutered around six months of age. Adult cats, generally speaking, veterinarians like to see them still once a year. If your cat is a senior citizen, eight years of age or older, some, pe some veterinarians will like to see them twice a year, especially if they see any changes that may be leading to problems down the line. Question number nine, what <laughs> does catnip do to cats? It makes them crazy. So in catnip, there is a compound called nepatolactone, and it's an oil that is found in the leaves and it causes behavioral changes in cats. And it actually mimics feline sex hormones, oh yes. So cats that are enjoying this uh, substance, they'll often act like a cat in heat. So they'll get really rowdy, they'll wanna be pet petted a lot, they'll roll around on the ground a lot, um, and both male and female cats can experience this effect, which is interesting to me. Question number 10, why does my cat lick me? Well, to be honest, veterinarians have not fully figured this out, <laughs> but we have some theories. So number one, the one that we all like the most is your cat is bonded with you and is expressing affection for you. But it can also be that your cat is seeking attention. Number three, they are identifying you as part of their group. Humans have a lot of interesting smells including our lotions and soaps and shampoos. Also, human sweat can contain salt, which your cat can actually really like. So it could be that your cat just likes the taste of you. So there you have it. You now have answers to the top 10 questions Googled about cats. Go forth, spread your knowledge, and thank you so much for watching. I will be back with more health-related and behavioral-related topics for you. In the meantime, be well.